Hey everybody, welcome back to the Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to talk about my theory for the plot of The Mandalorian. Not really interested in your opinion, 3PO. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for being here. Thanks for spending some time with me. If you don't know, I'm a Star Wars fan, been a Star Wars fan since the very beginning. Uh, I'm not a hater. I don't hate anything. I love the entire universe, love the expanded universe, love the old films, the new films, the toys, all of it. Basically, you slap Star Wars on something. I love it, right? Uh, so we've been watching The Mandalorian, watching Mandalorian on TV. It's out there on Disney+. Plus. And those of us who are watching it, I think when we start to watch some of these spin-offs or some of these sideshows, TV shows, we wonder, okay, how does this fit into the overall expanded universe? Like, we understand the timeline, right? We get the timeline. But how is it, as a puzzle piece, going to fit in and lock itself in, you know, set itself into the rest of the story? Like, is this a total, like, side story that has nothing to do with the other characters, or are we gonna see some integration? And I have a really big theory about how Mandalorian fits into the Star Wars universe. But to explain it, I'm gonna have to go back and talk about some of the other Star Wars TV shows, because uh, those of us who've been around for a while know this is not the first Star Wars TV show. There's been a lot of different uh, Star Wars shows on television and uh, They've been kind of put in their place in the Star Wars canon sometimes. And uh, at least the timeline, they, they fall into the timeline. So let's talk about where the other shows fall into the Star Wars timeline. First of all, we have the show Droids. Uh, Droids was a cartoon. It re released in 1985 and 1986. It takes place four years after Revenge of the Sith and 15 years before A New Hope. Then we have the Holiday Special. Holiday Special came out in 1978, and it takes place halfway between uh, Star Wars and Empire, so halfway between Episodes 4 and 5. Then we have three uh, shows all about the Ewoks that take place between Empire and Jedi. First, we have Caravan of Courage that came out in 1984. Then we have the Battle of Endor that came out in 1985. And then the Ewoks TV series that came out in 1985 and 86. And like I said, those all take place before Jedi. And here's where I think The Mandalorian fits in, okay? Here's where I think The Mandalorian fits in. Because we come now to The Force Awakens. And in The Force Awakens, there is a plot point where uh, the heroes are all at Maz's castle. And Maz introduces the legacy lightsaber to Han Solo. Now, what is the legacy lightsaber? Legacy lightsaber is the lightsaber that has been in all of the films. Legacy lightsaber was first Anakin's lightsaber, right, before he became Darth Vader. That saber gets passed from Obi-Wan to Luke in A New Hope. And then, of course, that lightsaber is lost at the end of Empire Strikes Back. Then we see this lightsaber make its appearance again in Force Awakens, and it is the lightsaber that Rey now has. Hence, legacy, it's been in all the films, okay? When Maz has it in her hand, she holds it out to Han, and Han says, where did you get that? And Maz says, that's a good question for another time. A good question for another time, which means we don't know, maybe, possibly, hasn't been written yet. Here's what I think. Maz has been running that, uh, you know, bar for a long time, and she certainly sees her share of scoundrels and rough hooligans and bounty hunters that probably come in and out. Don't you think that it's very possible that in this new show of The Mandalorian that takes place between Jedi and Force Awakens, which is the perfect place for it, that The Mandalorian is going to come across a legacy lightsaber in the TV series and he is going to bring it to Maz. And that is going to be the story about how the lightsaber gets from point A to point B We'll have all the answers because of Mandalorian. That's my theory. That's what I believe, is that somewhere in this show, the Mandalorian is going to come across the legacy lightsaber. He's going to have it for a couple of episodes. He's going to make his way to Maz, and we're going to find out how she gets it from him. That is my theory. What do you think about that? Or do you have your own theories about how Mandalorian fits into the 
expanded universe. Uh, let me hear what they are. Make some comments down there below. Loving the series so far, right? Loving it. Loving Baby Yoda or whoever uh, he is, right? Loving some of the new recent episodes with the ATST and the Jawas and, uh, and IG-11. They're doing some really cool stuff. Uh, having a lot of fun watching the series. Hope you are too. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.